Good morning, reception. Who's looking forward to making a pancake next Tuesday? I certainly am. Okay, we're going to write a shopping list together today. So let's think about the ingredients we need to make a pancake. Can you remember from the PowerPoint? What do we need? Shout out, girls and boys. Amazing, I heard some of you say flour then. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to write in my list that we need. So who can help me? What does flour begin with? It does. Amazing, what comes next? Oh, heard some of you say the ow sound, but actually there's a hidden sound. So get your microphones out, say the word flower very slowly and see what sound comes next. Brilliant, it's a ooh, well done. Ooh, ow, what do you let us go together to make the ow sound? You're right girls and boys, it's this. So we write our ow sound like this in reception. Okay, I'm going to write it like this first to show you that it's okay to do your writing like this, but then I will show you how to spell the word flower. So, ooh, ow, what's that last sound? It is, well done, flower. Now the word flower is actually spelled like this, girls and boys. So it's okay to use the sounds we know, and if your child is ready, parents, you can show them how to spell it correctly. Okay, well done. I'm going to just rub this one off for now. Well done, we need flour. What else do we need to make a pancake? Brilliant, we need eggs. Egg. Now with this one, it's actually two eggs. Amazing. We need flour, we need eggs, and we need something that we drink at snack time. What do we need? We need milk. What does milk begin with? It does, hmm, what comes next? Brilliant. Great, lots of you have just shouted out the k sound, but something comes before the k sound. Shout out very, very carefully. Shout out that hidden sound. Amazing. Ooh, milk, milk. Well done, girls and boys. The three here are the main ingredients to make a pancake. So we need those to make a pancake. Now we need to think about the exciting part. What do we want on our pancakes? You get to choose two toppings at home to have on your pancakes. Mmm, this is a really tricky decision for me. I think I'm going to have lemon juice. Okay, girls and boys, can you help me sound out lemon juice? So it's two words, lemon juice. Here we go. I heard you say, ooh, what comes next? L -e well done, mmm. Mm. Lemon, well done. Now juice is trickier, so it's okay reception to use the sounds that you know when you're writing the word juice. Most of you would write it like this. J, oo, so what do you let us make the oo sound? Well done, an ah and an ah makes it oo. And what's the last sound in juice? J, oo. Well done, it's s, juice. Okay. Girls and boys, we don't actually spell the word juice like that. We spell it like this. Juice, okay. So it depends where you're at with your development, but this is okay. So you're using the sounds you know, that is okay in reception. But girls and boys, you might be ready to learn how to spell the word juice correctly. Well done. So I'm gonna have lemon juice, and I'm sure my second topic is going to be really popular with the girls and boys at home. I'm going to choose chocolate. Chocolate chips. Here we go. Now, chocolate is a really long word with lots and lots of sounds in it. So let's have a go together. The first sound, ch. What do you let us go together, make to go together to make a ch sound? Well done, girls and boys. Here we go. Ch. Ah. K. So can we get? Ah. Ooh. Now the A. We know how to write an A like this. And then we would finish it off with a T. But actually, girls and boys, it's actually a split diagraph in the word chocolate. And you will learn this when you're in year one. So chocolate is actually sp A spelled like this. And these two letters work together to make the A sound, but they're split up, so that's why it's called a split diagraph. Okay, girls and boys, let's have a look at the things I've written on my shopping list. I need flour, eggs, milk, 
lemon juice and chocolate. Not finished it off. I want chocolate chips. Chocolate. Shh. Again. Chocolate chips. Okay, girls and boys, it's now your turn at home. Can you write a shopping list? <laughs>